guys, it's Jackie. In today's video, I'm gonna be smoking, but literally, there's people outside, so I'm waiting for them to leave. In order for me to start this video, and then this video, I wanted to talk about something more serious, kind of. Let me see if I can go this way down. Talk a little bit more about my dad. I know I haven't mentioned this before, and I feel like it's been a long time, like, um. Like before I used to think like, you know what, like I don't want to talk about my dad, like it's too soon. But right now it's gonna, um, it's been almost four years. So I feel like now I can talk about it more. I feel like I used to talk about it a lot before too. And I wouldn't really say that it bothered me, but it bothered me. Like it bothered me. Like I didn't want to talk about it. I feel like it's easier for me to talk about. Like I remember when my dad passed away, I had to give him chest compressions or um, chest like the ones you do like uh, on your chest for like to try to give a get them back you know back to life or whatever and I remember that um I feel so awkward because the neighbor's right there but I remember but anyways I remember that day that my dad passed away I was gonna go on a jog and I remember not looking at him like I remember him sleeping on the couch but I remember not waking him up like I remember just saying you know what I'm gonna go on a jog and I left and I didn't really talk, I haven't really talked about this a lot, but for a very long time, like, I literally, like, I would blame myself for that. I would be like, I would always, like, think it was my fault because I didn't wake him up. Like, I didn't check up on him. I didn't do any of that. And I felt like it was my responsibility. And because he died, I felt like it was, like, for a long time, I felt like it was my fault. And I didn't really have a lot of people to talk to because I felt like, you know, that's kind of awkward. Like, how are you going to tell people, talk about your dad to people? It's weird. But I felt like I could have done a million things differently. And then when I did chest compressions, I had gone out of the, I got it out of the shower. So I had my towel on and I kept like putting my towel up and still doing it. But he was already, he had already died at that point. But in my head, I told myself for like a very long time that I could have done it better. That the way I did it wasn't the right way. Like, I just literally made myself feel so guilty when in fact it wasn't like I could have done anything like I could have literally done anything in my power but he was already gone so ultimate so we're gonna be smoking on some super glue and banana pudding wax it's a joint I remember just blaming myself a lot I remember telling myself that it was my fault and I remember telling myself that I could have done like CPR or whatever the heck a lot better and it was really traumatizing to me, like the fact that I found him like that. Like it was like I remember my mom screaming. And um I just remember my mom screaming like for help. And then like I immediately knew that um my dad had passed away because just like how they were like screaming and stuff, like I was in the shower and I was like, oh I think my dad's dead. I did put wax in it, so I feel like it's gonna hit. I feel like when my dad died, it was that shit was the hardest thing I have to, I have ever dealt with, and I feel like after that, whatever the fuck happens in my life, it will never top that moment. I feel like nothing in my life will ever top that moment like when that happened that shit that shit crushed me like i don't even want to like get emotional that's fucking crazy <laughs> i don't want to get emotional right now but dead ass i did lose my best friend you know video because i was recording you <laughs> sometimes it is hard just because he was just like my rock like that dude was my best friend. When my dad cracked a joke, it didn't matter what the fuck was going on. That shit. That shit would just make everything feel better. Uh, I feel like I was in denial for a little bit. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was in denial for a cool amount. A cool amount, to be honest. Like, I didn't want to believe it. I dead ass just didn't want to believe it.
I feel like I was really numb when my dad passed away. Um, just because a lot of people were telling me that I didn't have to cry, that I had to be strong. Then a lot of people were telling me, no, like break down. And I was 16, like that shit really messed me up like I didn't know if I should cry I didn't know what to do like the years that I needed him the most like that's the time that I needed him like for like boy advice or like you know I was I was a teen you know like I, I feel like because of my dad passing away when I was so young I feel like that's one of the main reasons why I don't like taking anything from people like I don't like help like I don't like people helping me because I just feel like I'm asking for too much like I don't want anyone's help I feel like because my dad showed me that you have to like basically you know you have to fend for yourself like after he passed away I had to fend for myself and I basically it was like up to me to like you know it was hard I remember my dad and me were going to get matching tattoos once I turned 18. And because that didn't happen, like, we had, like, an inside joke type of thing. And we were going to get, um, we were just going to, like, get, like, this little inside joke thing. And I feel like I'm gonna, still going to get it because, you know, it reminds me, like, you know, stuff that we were going to do together or whatever. Some little kids in this scooter. My nose is smell hella like weed after I leave. I'm gonna be like, sorry. I do believe that everything happens for a reason. And I know that my dad was really sick and I know that he was already tired. So, you know, I feel like I don't, you know, it's not like I, I would it would be selfish of me to want him here knowing that he would still be sick you know so um for, for those people that don't know my dad died of um what's it called it was a intoxication it was a medical intoxication two medicines didn't mix together that he had they were prescribed two medicines to him and they didn't mix together so he died from that like an intoxication Where we're at currently mm. my phone hasn't fell not even one time and I remember the last time I filmed in my car it fell like 30 million times off the tripod being that young like it honestly did affect me a lot if like after that I feel like I was definitely not the same like it really did affect me um but i feel like it made me stronger like it definitely showed me you know just to like care for the people around you the people that you love because you literally never know when they're gonna die like that's why i feel like i grew so attached to people at that time of my life where so now i feel like i would think things through more because like just the way that i would think i was like oh my gosh like anyone could die at any moment like literally anyone could die like I literally have to have them like close to me and I feel like I should have done that like I didn't need to do that but at the same time I did push people away so it was weird like I pushed a lot of people away but I like wanted to keep so many people close to me that I did not need did not need in my life but yeah so I feel like it did um affect me in that way but I feel like now it like opened my eyes to like you know you could love people even from afar like it, you don't necessarily need them in your life and it also taught me like to not take people for granted you know like people could die literally in a second and but it also opened me up to not be scared of death because like literally death is everywhere you know you're gonna die you don't have to be scared when it's your time you're gonna go and i feel like it really um I used to be really scared about dying, to be honest. Like, I used to be really, really scared about that. And there was a lot a uh, time where I was really depressed, so I didn't really care about dying. But then when my dad passed away, it kind of showed me that, you know, like, 
you have your time that you have to go. It's your time where you need to rest and it's your time, you know, it's just the time you have to go. Like, and you, it's hard to accept, especially because it was my dad, like, but I feel like you just have to realize that sometimes they just have to go. And I um, watch a lot of horoscope videos because I know that, like, I know that my dad watches over me. Like, I know my dad watches over me. Like, I always get signs from him. Like, I literally know that he watches over me. And I remember, like, fuck. I don't know. I'm, like, such an emotional ass bitch. So I don't understand why I even thought about making this video. Like, I knew that I was going to get emotional. But here I am just making it. She was just reading the cards or whatever because it was like a weekly thing i don't know um like i used to love watching um horoscope videos just on my airpods so i would just listen to it and i remember this certain reading said like there's a past loved one of yours and it says something like it could be your dad it could be like someone that was your relative and i was like all right let me watch it and i remember i was at work and like i'm not sad anymore like i'm not sad about him passing away like i understand and now like i accept it but this it's just like gives me like it just brings out so much emotion in me and it's kind of hard to not like show it you know what i mean especially because for such a long time like my dad passed away like four years ago and i didn't really like i wasn't able to show it because I had to be strong for other people and stuff like that so it was really hard and I did conceal a lot of it and even to this day I've been trying to like work on that and like heal from that and just a heads up you know like if someone that was um, close to you passed away it doesn't matter if it's like a friend or if it's like a boyfriend or if it's like a dad or a mom like a really close person to you like don't worry about like breaking down you know like that shit happens all the time like it's okay you know like i should have brought napkins out here or something let me just whip out a pad imagine <laughs> bro i'm so cringe like i literally i'm so cringe like i'll literally joke around because i don't want to be awkward <laughs> fuck Okay, so basically, um, I haven't even said what the fucking reading was about. I'm dead. I'm just over here crying. Okay, but all I want to say is, if you lost someone that's close to you, don't put yourself down for crying. Don't put yourself for breaking down, like breaking apart, like any other, any time of the day. It doesn't matter. Like if you need your time to cry, let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Because honestly, when you bottle that shit up, that shit eats you, and mm -mm, you need to let it out. I didn't want to show my emotions about it. I did because a lot of me didn't want to realize that, you know, it happened or whatever. Um, this is a message about like a dad or a father figure or like a loved one. It said, and it said, um, basically said that this person wasn't in pain. And it said that this person was okay and it said that this person was um at peace it said that this person was okay. it said that this person was okay and you know um i watched that video when i was at work so i was just in the bathroom you know and i broke down and i was like fuck like this shit is crazy you know and then it said that this person to watch is over me that whenever I feel their presence that it's them and then it said um it basically said to stop blaming myself and that I couldn't have done anything I watched this video like years after my dad died years so that shit like really got to me that was like fuck like like damn like he really knows I blame myself I don't want to ruin the video by crying a lot, but I think I want to end this video on a positive note. I just want to, um, I just kind of wanted to bring awareness to that. Like, um, it's been about four years since I lost my dad and I can barely talk about it, obviously, but not, I can't talk about it, but I get emotional, but I just wanted to kind of bring awareness and be like, you know, like, it's okay to grieve. Like, you know, like you need to let that shit out and you need to like, not blame yourself especially if you're blaming yourself and 
I don't know. I kind of wanted to do this. I didn't think I was going to cry so much. But it's okay. Like, that's fine. I just feel like... Um, now, I feel like you shouldn't judge how long you take to heal. Because it's been four years since my dad passed away. And for me, like, now I realize that it's okay. You know, you just have to take it day by day. And that there really isn't much that you could do when stuff like this happens so I feel like I definitely want to let whoever has lost someone close to them know that it's okay to cry it's okay to break down it's okay to like talk to someone because I feel like I really thought I couldn't talk to anyone and I feel like you should definitely talk to someone that you trust you should try to talk to someone that you know could definitely like help you through you know whatever you're going through I want you guys to give it a thumbs up if you liked it comment down below if if you want to share anything that you've gone through or not and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already my next video i'm gonna try to do something different i feel like i've been, just been doing just blunt sessions and like smoke sessions and like yeah but i might have all my social media down below if you want to follow it sometimes i put like polls of like videos i'm gonna do next so if you guys want to like participate in that you guys can like, just follow me i have everything linked down below and then i'll see you guys in my next video bye oh and also leave any um suggestions down below as well